using your SUP board, it's important to remember what you're going to be using the SUP board for, whether this is for leisure cruising, for SUP yoga, uh, for touring or even for racing. So if we look at the boards themselves, here we have an all-round board, slightly wider, rounder nose. This is available as a kid-specific board or a female-specific board and is very diverse, probably shares the biggest part of the market. Here we have a touring board, you'll see a pointier nose, longer board this time and used more for exploration. Here we have a race board, race specific, a lot narrower. Notice how much longer this board is well, a lot quicker through the water but equally a lot more unstable so a bit more training required before you progress onto one of these types of boards. Finally, we have a hard shell board. It's important to remember that all of these boards are available as either inflatable or as a hard shell, available in different materials but your choice uh, is really how you're going to use this board it will be dictated to whether you use an inflatable or a solid shell board. Key features of the SUP board itself, this is the tail of the board and if it's an inflatable board at the tail of the board is where you'll have the inflation system. Running down the board length you have the deck pad, centrally in the board we have the carry handle, just up on this all round board we have a, a mast attachment so you can actually windsurf with this board as well. Slightly further up we've got some straps so if you want to put any water this is the nose of the board. You have the rail of the board running down the edge. And if we flip this over and run all the way down the base of the board, we come to the fin system. This particular board has two fixed fins which aren't removable and then a central fin which is removable. So an important piece of equipment here for stand-up paddleboarding is your paddle. Without this, you're not going anywhere. Three bits to tell you about. You have the blade, we have the shaft, and then we have the T-bar. When sizing your paddle, you should position the paddle in front of you, reach up as high as you can comfortably reach up, and then lock the paddle in place. When selecting your paddle, there's a few things to remember. You're either gonna be wanting to go for a fixed length paddle, which is cut and sized according to your height, or you're gonna go for an adjustable paddle, which has a fitment at the end, which means you can move the T-bar up and down so you can size it to you. In terms of the materials, if you're starting out in a school, then typically you'll be using a plastic or an aluminium paddle. You might want to go to a fiberglass paddle, which gives you a lighter weight paddle. And then once you get really good and start racing, then you're going to be progressing onto a carbon fiber paddle, super lightweight. 